Alright everyone, so within the next week, YouTube is going to publish their big ol' YouTube Rewind for this year. It's going to be this hip, cool video with celebrities and pop stars and all these pretty little smiling faces doing a hip and cool dance sequence and hey everybody, look how hip and cool we are! Come and watch this video! It has all your favorite YouTubers like Jimmy Kimmel, The Rock, Taylor Swift! Please give this video 300 million views so we can give off the impression that YouTube is a rip roar and fun time for the whole gang! So yeah, that's gonna be the YouTube Rewind for this year. I just saved you six and a half minutes, so don't watch it. It's gonna get 450 bazillion views anyway though, because it's the kind of shit that trendy, mainstream dopes want to see. These normie pinheads who watch two videos a year are gonna see this flashy video of Hollywood celebrities dancing with attractive vloggers and think, oh boy, YouTube sure is great, and then go on with their lives like nothing's wrong. And that's YouTube's goal here, to give off the perception that everything's cool, all right, yeah, party. You guys like country music star Blake Shelton? Look, he's holding an iPhone X while drinking a Starbucks unicorn frappuccino while spinning a fidget spinner. Those are trendy and popular things, right? Everybody dance, whoa, look how great YouTube is. Have you tried YouTube TV? YouTube is gonna provide the ignorant masses with a glossy and colorful facade, all while sweeping their massive, gaping problems under the rug. Well, I'll tell you what, these problems aren't going away, and I'm not gonna sit back and let YouTube stand idly by and pretend that nothing's wrong. I think I speak for a lot of YouTubers when I say that 2017 has been an absolute clusterfuck train wreck for us content creators. You know, the people that do all the work on this site and get none of the credit. So what I've put together here is a real YouTube rewind. A recap of just some of the ways that YouTube has fucked over creators in the past year. So to start off, YouTube reincarnated the defunct shit stain known as Google Plus in the form of the notification bell. Of course, this was due to rampant allegations of YouTube failing to deliver subscriptions to subscribers. You know, the primary function of YouTube for millions of users. We've heard these reports and we take those feedback so seriously. YouTube doesn't unsubscribe people from channels. Liar. Yeah, rather than fix the problem, they added an additional notification layer. Now if you don't get notified of your subscriptions, it's your fault and not YouTube's. Because I guess it's too much to ask for YouTube to fix a fundamental function of their site that's been there since day fucking one. But hey, on the bright side, YouTubers now have to spend twice as long begging people to subscribe and press the notification bell. Guys, guys, if you want new around here, subscribe! Make sure you want subscribe, subscribe right subscribe. now! Oh yeah, and speaking of subscriptions, YouTube broke that too for a day. Yikes. Now this was just a funny little glitch that had no real impact other than the tremendous panic and uncertainty at the realization of YouTube's complete incompetence and failure to maintain the most basic of tasks on their website. But hey, I'm sure these guys are professionals. There's no way they can possibly fuck up this badly again. Introducing restricted mode. Children! So in March, YouTube rolled out their new and improved restricted mode. Because YouTube really cares about children. Clearly, some parents complained about their kids hearing some bad words on YouTube. Oh lordy me! Because it's not like leaving your kid to roam unsupervised on a website used by all people, including adults, is bad parenting or anything. It's clearly YouTube's fault for allowing videos with bad words to be shown at all. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and erase, 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 and there! 100% safe for kids! Oh wait, YouTube, I think you guys missed a spot. These disturbing, borderline pornographic, borderline pedophiliac videos are still unrestricted. Don't you guys think this is a bit of a problem? Well, aren't you guys gonna do something about it? Hello? YouTube? Anyone there? Sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. I'm gay. <laughs> oh, fuck! Looks like you accidentally restricted LGBT videos. Come on, YouTube, I thought you guys were more progressive than this. 
Aren't you located in San Francisco of all places? Oh shit, it's a PR disaster. Quick, cover your asses. We're sorry. But hey, I'm sure these guys are professionals. There's no way they can possibly fuck up this badly again. Hey everybody, look! PewDiePie is a Nazi! Here's proof! YouTube is running ads on racist videos! Oh man, YouTube is racist? Time to pull our ads! No, 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 no! What the fuck are you doing? This was taken out of context! Please, this is just one video out of a billion! For fuck's sake! YouTubers are just regular, non-racist people! Please don't pull your bye-bye ads! Shit, shit, this is bad. This is really bad. YouTube, what are you gonna do about this? Well, you know, they kind of have a point. What? Yeah, they're right. No company should be forced to advertise on racist videos. Good, good, yes, yes, we agree on that much. Take the ads off of the racist videos. That's perfect. Look, we can start by making sure that videos with the N-word in the title can't run ads. All right, then it's settled. Any video with slightly controversial content will be demonetized from here on out. What? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You get demonetized. You get demonetized. Talking about drugs? Demonetized. Talking about politics? Demonetized. Talking about any video game with a gun in it? Demonetized. Talking about WWE, which is literally PG Entertainment? Oh, you better believe that you're demonetized. Say one single curse word? Say goodbye to your ad revenue. Upload a video that's completely within the guidelines and hasn't even finished processing yet? Well, uh... We're just gonna demonetize that too. We're scanning your video transcripts, so if you say one tiny thing that's out of place, we're gonna ding ya! So make sure to be on your best behavior, because Big Brother is watching. Oh yeah, uh, so we didn't mention this at first, but it turns out that all the demonetization will be carried out by an experimental bot that's literally machine learning as it goes on, and will be completely inaccurate and trigger happy for the first six months, robbing YouTubers of millions of dollars of revenue for no reason? Oh. And in addition to demonetizing your videos, we'll also straight up censor them by sandbagging their search and discovery in the algorithm, even after they're manually reviewed to be advertiser friendly. Oh, and uh, remember back when we said that we love LGBT people? Yeah, we're still censoring their videos behind their backs anyway. Suicide prevention videos too. So sleep tight, because the demonetization fairy will visit you when you least expect it. And poof, there goes all your money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, just hold up for one second. Don't you think this is a bit of an overreaction? Think about why you guys are doing this. Because of PewDiePie? PewDiePie's not a racist. You guys need to calm down. PewDiePie's not racist, and neither are the rest of us. So maybe you guys could hold off for a bit on destroying the dreams of thousands and thousands of- What a fucking nigger. What the fuck did you just do? Come on, Felix! We were all counting on you to prove YouTube and the advertisers wrong, and then you just go ahead and drop the N-bomb on stream. What the fuck, dude? Look, Felix, I like you, and I know that at the end of the day, you're on our side. But you have to realize the tremendous responsibility you have not to fuck things up for the rest of us. And guess what? You completely fuck things up for the rest of us! I know it's easy for you and the rest of the big wigs at the top of this site to just sit back and relax on your seven-figure YouTube income, but for the rest of us, it ain't so easy, and you just made it a lot harder. Now there are no more excuses stopping YouTube from stamping every last one of our videos with the yellow sticker of shame. Downward spiral, downward spiral, downward spiral, downward spiral, down- Aw oh man, this is a serious problem. This issue has major ramifications. What's gonna happen to the future of content on this website? What's gonna happen to everyone who depends on YouTube for income? What's gonna happen to- Hey look everybody, fidget spinners! Oh look that- 
Look at that, they spin! Ooh, look at how trendy they are! So many to collect, all right! Remember when these were just tools to help autistic kids? Wait, 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 stop! We're trying to have a serious discussion about an important issue here. Hey, look, everybody! It's Jake Paul! Woo, Team 10, dab on those haters! Jake Paul is trending! Woo! Hey, what's going on? There are more important things to talk about here. It's almost like you're trying to distract us or something. Hey, look, everybody! Some pussy-ass white boy millionaire is making a diss track about God knows what! Wait, what the fuck? How has this become a trend? Wait a minute, weren't we talking about something else here? Hey, look, everybody! VidCon! Ooh, VidCon. I can't wait to see a showcase of the best and brightest personalities that YouTube has to offer. Is this what we've become? Are there any honest YouTubers left anymore? Oh hey, here's a cool and original animation that probably took a year of on and off work to make. Man, people really seem to love this video, so let's take it down. For no reason. The shameless re-upload can stay up though. In fact, let's just have everybody profit off of this guy's hard work except, you know, the guy who actually made the video. We can just forget about him. Oh hey, it's one of the most dedicated and influential YouTubers on the platform, Anthony Fantano. Let's demonetize his entire meme channel for basically no reason. Oh, and this monkey guy? Let's take his channel down for no reason and straight up lie to his face with our automated enforcement system all while holding his main source of income and total livelihood in virtual limbo. Because YouTube as we know it has basically become an Orwellian dystopia manifested in reality. Oh yeah, let's just suspend I ate everything again for no reason, just for funsies. <laughs> but hey, I'm sure these guys are professionals. There's no way they can possibly fuck up this badly again. Everybody duck! Why? Oh, it's just that time of the year where everyone in America dies to a mass shooting. And I'm proud to be an American! Damn, this one's really bad. This is actually the deadliest mass shooting in American history. Oh jeez, what a tragedy. What a horrific loss of life. What a... Hey, wait a minute. CNN is running ads on a live shooting? Wait a minute. Soda companies? The same ones that boycotted YouTube? They're advertising on a live shooting? What are you guys doing? You guys are shameless enough to advertise on actual human slaughter? but you pull your ads from YouTube because of one racially questionable video? Uh, sorry, we can't hear you over the thuds of limp corpses hitting the ground. Oh my gosh, this is a total disaster. We need to help these people. Oh, thank Christ, esteemed and iconic YouTuber Casey Neistat uploaded a video where all the ad revenue will be donated to victims of the shooting. At least there's some good coming out of YouTube these days. And you get demonetized. Wait a minute, YouTube, this is a charity video that's only meant to help people. Why are you preventing that? Sorry, it's against the rules. No ads on videos about tragedies. No exceptions. Meanwhile, at Jimmy Kimmel's channel... You see, Jimmy... Jimmy... Jim, Jim, Jimmy... Jim, James... Son, let me tell you a little bit about Virtue Signaling. Hey, Jimmy, are you at least gonna donate that ad revenue you earn from a tragedy to the victims of the tragedy? No? You're just gonna keep it? Yeah, that $10 million TV salary isn't enough for you? Oh, and that's not all? You're gonna virtue signal all of us too and tell us how it's all our fault that lunatics get illegal guns and shoot people? Because who on earth could question the moral righteousness of a guy from Hollywood? Oh wait, they're all sexual predators? Hmm. Well that makes them perfect for YouTube! Because YouTube allowed a massive pedophile ring to propagate content on their platform. And even though the commentary community complained about them for months, YouTube did nothing about it! In fact, I'm willing to say that YouTube actually supported these degenerate videos with unrestricted ads while at the same time demonetizing the channels trying to expose them. Man, funding pedophiles. Isn't YouTube in 2017 just fun on the bun? Of course, YouTube finally got off their asses and did something about this massive problem that their system literally helped to create. This yeah, is bad. 
<laughs> we gotta definitely write a song about how we, we do not diddle kids. Do not diddle kids, it's no good diddling kids. Only after suffering a PR disaster and having, you're gonna love this, even more companies pull their ads. Hmm, wait a minute here. Now why would YouTube all of a sudden care about a problem that the YouTube community has been aware of for months? Hmm, why would YouTube knowingly endanger children for so long if they care so much about child safety that they punish the rest of us for the most minuscule inappropriate gesture? Hmm. Why would YouTube ignore a known and serious child endangerment problem until the moment it costs them ad revenue? Oh boy, it's almost like YouTube doesn't care about kids at all, and they only care about the revenue they bring to the site. But if that were true, that would make YouTube a ruthless, money-hungry corporation. Now that can't be right. Just look at their CEO, Susan Wudge... S Susan Wudge... Susan W. Good old Susan W. She clearly cares about us humble creators. She's a woman of the people. And definitely not a figurehead puppet put in power by Google's blatant nepotism and diversity quotas. Clearly, she is the most qualified person in the world to run the largest video streaming site on the internet. Oh wait, she's never even attempted to run a YouTube channel before this year, so she has literally no experience making YouTube videos? And she's in charge of YouTube. Like, the whole entire website. Yikes! You know, come to think of it, that actually makes a lot of sense. Jesus, is there any relief from the torrent of bad news that this site has to offer this year? What we do here is go back, 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 back. Oh hey, a new content cop. God bless you, iDubs. Thanks for keeping YouTubers honest, one douche at a time. It's so nice to see that YouTube is as supportive of your channel as the rest of us. They clearly show it by demonetizing your videos, taking down your video for no reason, blacklisting you from trending even though your videos are some of the hottest properties on this website, and even letting your channel get hacked and terminated. Just for a little bit though. I guess it's become a tradition for decent YouTubers to have their channels taken down at least once a year for no reason. But who could blame YouTube for letting that happen? You're just a regular guy who got famous through nothing but his own talent and hard work. You're nothing like world famous pop star Justin Bieber! Hey, did you know that a song sang by Justin Bieber is the most viewed YouTube video now? Man, couple that with YouTubers making no money, and I'd say we've regressed back to 2009! You know, besides all the YouTube actively censoring content and funding pedophiles deal, 2009 was a simpler time. And what better way to top the shit Sunday of YouTube in 2017 than with a bright red new eyesore logo and another pointless layout change that nobody asked for. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the YouTube Reality Check Rewind of 2017. Now, if you're like me, and you just watched all of that, you're probably just a little teensy weensy bit miffed. And if you're a robot with no emotions or common sense, then congratulations! You are now employed by YouTube management. But if you're like the rest of us who are a little bit dissatisfied with the way things are run around here, then you're probably wondering, what can I do about it? Well, fear not, citizen, for I have a plan. Bob is building an army! I'm kidding, of course. Fuck you, Bob. Nobody cares about you. But what we do care about is your tank. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I am proposing that this year, we tank the Rewind. Every YouTube channel has a little bit of power. Individually, it's basically worthless. But by combining that power with millions of other channels, you can craft a force to be reckoned with. The power I'm speaking of is the power of the dislike. It's a fundamental power endowed to every YouTuber on this website. And we can harness that power to punch YouTube square in their fucking jaw. What I'm suggesting is that we harness all of our powers to dislike this year's YouTube Rewind. Our goal should be to make this year's Rewind the most disliked YouTube video of all time. We can do this, guys. We already made EA's Battlefront comment the most downvoted Reddit post of all time, and we can do the same with this year's Rewind. We're gonna need about 8.5 million dislikes to accomplish this, but I think YouTube has generated enough aggregate outrage this year that it's totally possible. Over the past year, YouTube has made mistake after mistake 
after mistake, and it seems like the only ones being punished for their mistakes are us, the creators. We ask YouTube for answers, and we're met with worthless automated responses. YouTube says they're listening, yet things continue to get worse and worse, and YouTube continues to lie to our faces. We've tried complaining. We have tried reasoning with YouTube over and over, and they've proven time and time again that they don't listen. So we're gonna hit them where it hurts, right in their big end of the year celebration. And maybe, just maybe, they'll listen to us. YouTube in 2017 has been a total unmitigated embarrassment. So just imagine the embarrassment of YouTube's big happy party becoming the most disliked video of all time. These are the measures we must take to get YouTube's attention. YouTube thinks they can just forget about us. They think they can just forget about all these problems and all of it will just disappear. They'll hire a bunch of smiling Hollywood faces to try and distract everyone from all the debilitating problems that they have allowed to fall upon this once great website. Well, I'm here to say that enough is enough. YouTube wasn't built by Hollywood celebrities. YouTube was built by the people. YouTube was built by us. And I'm not gonna stand by for another year while all these fake smiling Hollywood people party it up on the penthouse of the empire that we built. So if you're like me and you wanna see some actual positive change around here, then join me in pressing dislike on this year's YouTube Rewind. YouTube is going to demonetize and censor this video. So I encourage you all to share this video, download this video, and repost this video far and wide. I encourage you all to share this video with other YouTubers that YouTube has screwed over this year and get them on board too. It's time for us, the real YouTubers, to stick up for ourselves. It's time to tank the rewind.